Hello everyone, Aslam the Toy. Welcome to the you to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't clicked subscribe as yet, be sure to hit the subscribe bell so that you can get notified of future videos. So in today's video, we're going to basically go into system.io and I'm going to show you how to set up a domain, okay, to link a domain in system.io. Now, if you don't know what system.io is, okay, it is a fully fledged online funnel building marketing system where you can build online funnels as well as, uh, you know, incorporate your autoresponder in it as well. And one of the first steps that you would normally go through is when you are linking your domain, okay? So your domain is basically your personalized uh, web address. So, you know, abc.com, uh, you know, whatever that is, you know, how do you go about linking it now? I'm not gonna show you how to go about setting up your domain. You could use various host providers for that. Uh, in this example, I'm going to be using Bluehost, okay? And I'm gonna be linking the uh, a domain into system.io. Now, this is not one of my domains. This is actually on behalf of a client of mine. I'm helping him build his funnel, okay? He's in the fitness industry. So I'm gonna help him set this up but I'm doing this video so I can also show you how to go about doing this. And you can pretty much do this for, you know, for, for any funnel that you are setting up. So the first step would be to make sure that you already have a domain that you've purchased. Okay. Make sure you've got your domain that you've purchased, your .com, your .net, whatever that domain is. And you need to have a system.io account. Now, you know, if you don't have a system.io account, there is a link in the bio. You can simply click on that link. You'll be able to open your account. Uh, and uh, if you don't have a domain set up as well, there are various options. You could use GoDaddy, Names, Cheap. Uh, in this case, I'm using Bluehost. You'll see a link to that in the description there as well. Okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead. And I'm going to show you how to set this, uh, you know, how to link your domain name with system.io because before you can start building that funnel you want to make sure that your domain is linked so we are in the system.io dashboard now what you're first going to do is you are going to click on this icon or you know if you've got a profile pic you'll see this and you want to come down to settings okay now once you click on settings you'll see a new menu that will open up and you then want to scroll down to where it says custom domains Okay, it'll bring you to this page next. Next, you want to click on add domain, right? So now it will bring up uh, another pop-up box. So we are going to put in our domain here. Yeah? Okay, so let's go in. Okay, and we click save. Okay, so once you click on the save button, you'll see this basically come up. Okay, so it tells us DNS configuration for your domain. So what we need to do next is we need to take this information and we need to go and create CNAME records in under our DNS settings within the host provider back office. Okay, so you'll see here, the, this here is basically uh, the CNAME records that we're going to need. So we're going to copy this and we are now going to take this into, uh, in this example, Bluehost. We're going to paste it in there and we are basically then going to set this up. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to take the first CNAME record, which is the primary, you know, for the, for the web address. So we are going to copy this. As you can see there, I've copied it. Okay. Okay, so right now we are in the Bluehost back office. We are going to click on domains, my domains. And we are now going to click on manage. And now we go to DNS. 
So once we are in DNS, we are going to click on add record. Under the C name record, we need to add a record. Okay, so under host record, we want to put in www. And then we want to paste the record that we retrieved from system.io. Okay, we just needed to take that dot out. So you can see now it's correct. Uh, we're gonna set this to the minimum. I'll set this to the minimum. And we're gonna click on save. Okay, now we need to add a second record. So you can see the first one has now been added. There was nothing there earlier. Now there is a record. We're gonna click on add record again. And we're gonna go back to system.io to retrieve the other CNAME record, and then we're gonna come and paste it in over here. Okay, so right now we are back in system.io. We are gonna copy this first record. We'll copy that. Go back to Bluehost now. So we'll take this host record and we'll paste it here. Okay, the dot at the end, we'll just take that out. Then we'll come to the target. We'll go back to Bluehost, uh, sorry, back to system.io. Okay, so I've copied the other record. The target will come and we'll paste it here. Once again, it's that dot, we're gonna just take that out. I'll leave it at four. And we'll click save. So our C name records are now loaded and it will take anywhere between 24 to 48 hours to propagate on the system. So if it's done correctly and you go into your system.io account, you should see that your website or your funnel is, is now linked to the system.io account. So if you've got so what we could do to just check that we fold in everything correctly, you can just come to dnschecker.org and we're gonna go to the space over here. We're gonna put in our domain. Com. And remember we are checking for a C name. We click on search. And there you go, you can see that everything is showing a green tick, which basically means everything is fine. If something was not correct, you would basically see a red cross next to it. So if you are seeing all green ticks, it means uh, you know everything should work out fine once it propagates. So that shows us that we did a good job. Okay, so guys, just, uh, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know if you found this helpful and I'll see you guys on the next video.